Are you thinking about taking the SHRM CP exam and are stressing about studying and passing? Don't worry, friend, I got you. Hi, my name is Linda. I'm an HR professional who recently decided to get SHRM certified. I took and passed the exam and wanted to provide tips to ensure you pass your exam the first time. Disclaimer, I am not affiliated with SHRM or any related entities. These are all my own opinions and this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. So if you're thinking about taking the exam, then you probably already know what the SHRM CP exam is. But if you don't, let's run through a brief summary. We'll go over what the SHRM CP exam is, the eligibility criteria, and the exam format and length. SHRM, which stands for the Society for Human Resources Management, CP, Certified Professional, credentials is for individuals who perform general HR and HR related duties at work, or for those pursuing a career in human resource management. Let's quickly run through the eligibility criteria in order to take the SHRM CP exam. So SHRM CP is for individuals performing HR or HR related duties or pursuing a career in human resources. These are typically individuals who currently work in HR and their job is operational in nature. So things like policy implementation or serving as the HR day-to-day -day point person. Your job duties also tend to be specialized versus general in nature. The exam is four hours long. There are 134 questions, 80 knowledge items, 54 situational judgment items, of which 24 are field test items. The exam is taken on a computer either remotely with a proctor or at a testing facility in your area. So let's jump into the tips. Number one, give yourself at least two to four months to prepare. Try doing small manageable chunks rather than trying to do everything last minute. The SHRM CP exam consists of two types of multiple choice questions. You have the standalone knowledge-based items that assess your knowledge and understanding of factual information. And you have your scenario-based situational judgment items. These assess your judgment and decision-making skills. Number two, if your company is paying for it, invest in the SHRM e-learning system. These are very helpful because they have practice questions and these questions are very similar to what you would get on the final exam, but not the same. It is quite expensive, but it is a very good investment in my opinion. They have an online version, which includes the practice questions, and they also have a physical book that you can buy at an extra cost. If you would like to have something tangible to hold, to write your notes in, to highlight, which is also very helpful. If you're paying for it yourself, I suggest study.com. This is also very helpful because they have practice questions. They have a tracker that tracks your progress throughout. Before I invested in the SHRM e-learning system, I used study.com and I found it super helpful and very interactive. Number three, don't focus on knowing everything. There is a lot of material. Focus on knowing the general knowledge and understanding how to apply them in real life. Don't try and cram and memorize. This will confuse you. Application to real life scenarios is key. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. See you in my next video.